There are so many issues which are contributing to floods in Simbazi. Dar es Salaam is going very fast, so rapid urbanization is one of the reasons. These activities actually contribute to erosions, and these sediments are coming downstream. When it rains, it's difficult for uh, the water to go out as fast as possible. The people are encroaching the river by constructing the building. The issue of uh, solid waste, when you have the mangrove, or we have the sediment issue. So it has got a number of challenges. Given all these activities, when you combine them together, it results to a situation whereby the river depth has been reduced tremendously. Then it causes uh, the, these floods to happen. When the floodings occur, we are being affected in many ways. First, our health. This water is polluted. Also, it poisons our homes. And the children, they don't go to school because their uniforms, their books, all have been spoiled. We need to get all stakeholders in, in one place and get their opinion at once so that we can come with a solution which is agreed by all uh, stakeholders. We have many institutions that uh, have stake in the, in the valley. So how do we get these people together to think together? This is a tool for decision making. It's a process that's more engaging. We are working together, looking and designing together, looking at what the best option for the valley itself. Government, community, and the stakeholders, all we are in one charrette. We are also expressing our views. And this development is for we, the community, not for the government. I've seen here that uh, many concerns of various stakeholders is taken serious involving people in decision making. The plans that we will be having, it will be designed by the stakeholders themselves. Brilliant ideas. And then everybody can have their say, which is also a nice way. And especially with different stakeholders, you, you'd be surprised how many inf influences and perspectives you get. We're 70 people here, are we happy with this decision? And everybody says yes, because they have been working on it. Uh, so far there have been three different options that have been presented. We have the asset island, we have what is referred to a wetland park, and the, the river front. At the end of the day, definitely coming up with one of those options, it is going to improve the situation. The outcome is a better living place within the Mzimbazi We hope with these measures which have been proposed, uh, the floodings will be reduced by a huge uh, amount. Yes. Definitely we are going to have an area which is reorganized, really planned. Uh, the scenery of Simbazi will be beautiful and then it's going to be managed uh, hopefully positively. Mm -hmm.